Welcome to things your healthcare provider should have told you when they prescribed you medication for anxiety and depression, but they might've run out of time. For today's talk, we're mostly talking about SSRIs and SNRIs. That's things like Zoloft, Cymbalta, Prozac, Paxil, Lexapro, Effexor, and that. I think that's most of them. Celexa, can't forget Celexa. First, this medicine's gonna take a while to work, like four to six weeks, and we really, we're gonna give it about 12 weeks to see is this really gonna work before we change gears most of the time, because that's what the um, research has told us, it can take that long. So even though you're feeling like garbage now, it's gonna take quite a while, and during that time period while you're ramping up, you are gonna have side effects, but you're not gonna have any benefit, but I want you to try to keep taking it and keep going because you have to take it every single day for us to really get to that effective point. So then we have to have a conversation about the side effects. Biggest one I like to get out of the way is anxiety. So whether you're taking this medication for anxiety or for depression that are occurring or both, when you first start a lot of these medications, it's going to make you more anxious. Why? Because you're messing with the, like your brain chemistry. It's giving it more serotonin or more norepinephrine. Your brain is really good at being like, I don't like to be messed with. So it's really gonna freak out in the beginning and you're gonna feel more anxious most likely for that first one to two weeks. This should go away. And please talk to your healthcare provider if you're experiencing that and they can help bridge you and help control those symptoms. Other side effects that you're gonna see, particularly in the beginning, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, some people are tired, some people can't sleep, those should all go away. Again, talk to us, let us know. We can give you things to help control those symptoms. The one side effect that tends to stay and stick around and doesn't go away within those first few weeks is usually sexual dysfunction. If you're experiencing that, if you're worried about it, talk to your healthcare provider because we want to be able to address that with you and find a solution that works for you. Next. In a very, very small portion of the population, particularly younger adults, when you start taking this medication, it can actually cause thoughts of self-harm. So if you ever are taking it and you feel that way, immediately stop, contact someone in your life who can support you, contact the office, call 911, re get help for that. Do not, that is not one, not a symptom, side effect, anything that we ever want you to power through. That one's really, really rare, but due to the nature of it, it's really important to touch on. And the last thing, if you've been taking this medication for more than like four to five, six weeks, you're going to want to taper off of it when you eventually come off of it. So even if you aren't in the office, you know, you don't come back, you don't end up liking the medicine, don't just stop cold turkey. You'll end up getting withdrawal symptoms because your brain got used to that extra serotonin. So just like in the beginning, how it was kind of messed up when it was didn't love the world when you went onto it, it's not going to love it when you come off, especially if you don't taper it down and you'll get, you'll feel like you're having a stroke. If you have other questions, let me know.